Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3Dtech.com. This episode, I, I want to talk about um, this right here. So, what I've done is I've actually uh, 3D designed and printed out, if I get the excess plastic off here, uh, um, brushless motor mount for the SEMA. So, one of the things that uh, I was talking about in a prior episode where I reworked some of the motors, I had some issues with the motors you might remember. And uh, this little doodad came with the existing motor, um, which is around here somewhere, but you can see one on here to adapt this motor to sit in the SEMA. So one of the things I thought is, is heck, and, and, and I know a couple of folks have written me saying, hey, where can I buy these? And well, these come with the kit. So what I decided to do was design up my own version that mounted mounts in the SEMA here and uh, adapts it to a brushless motor. Now, I'm, in full disclosure, I think this is probably a little bit big motor for the SEMA. Uh, I think you can kind of see, you know, the size of these motors. Um, because one of the other things that you'll need to do is, uh, and which is typical with the SEMA, is probably cut the top out. I'm going to see if I can't. Uh, I, got the, I got the thing on it. But you'll probably have to cut this, this top piece out um, to make this work. Get my shop glasses out of the way here. I want to put this here. Uh, you know, so the motor actually sticks through here. Um, but, you know, that's normal with most of these modifications. And you may also have to clean up uh, a little bit um, this uh, clip where the existing motors would clip into uh, for the power and then kind of loop around. You probably need to cut this down a little bit because one of the things, I don't know if you can see here, I've kept the two holes for here to mount uh, to this because one of the things that I think is uh, important is really holding this down because there's going to be two pieces that are going to hold this in place and one it's going to be screwing through this into into this top piece because if you can see here again I've only got a millimeter between these two so this will slide down in these openings now what you'll probably have to do is clean these up a little bit with a little bit of a file or a burr uh, or a plastic cleanup tool to get in there uh, so it slides on here real nice because you know right now it basically pops on and then it should it pops on there like that and you can kind of see how that is and I don't know if you can see it but if I push all the way down it's gonna probably hit on this so you just have to take a little bit off uh, so it's flush with this if you look at this one over here so it's kind of flush with this piece um, it wasn't worth designing around because one of the things I wanted to keep some meat on this guy as uh, obviously this is going to transfer all the torque to the copter frame and so you want as much of that there as possible uh, as well as on the inside here so anyways um, again wanted to share this with you guys and uh, again this should mount I'll have this up on Thingiverse and you know go ahead and try it at your own risk I'm gonna put a couple versions up there so I'm gonna put a blank version uh, and then I'm going to put uh, one with the holes because, uh, uh, again, the holes in this motor are not symmetrical. So they're, these, these two are wider than these two, and they're actually not quite square uh, because I've actually got this square. Uh, so, again, I want to set it up so if you 3D print it or you can design it or you can match it to your own uh, motors that you decide to use for this. And again, it's going to sit a little bit uh, high and you'll have to cut this up, but I already hit that. So hopefully you found this video interesting. And again, if you're a SEMA fan like I am, this will give you a good uh, good base to work with to do uh, brushless conversion. Because as you see here, I have the commercial br brushless conversion. I'll spit that out that I've already purchased. But if you want to do your own, in which you really can because, because if you take this stock SEMA controller... And you take out these MOSFETs, you can you can put in um, uh, basically pin connectors and feed these MOSFETs, work out feeding these MOSFETs into these uh, electronic speed controllers. Because basically that's what these are sort of acting as really dumb electronic speed controllers uh, for a brushless motor. Because what happens in a, in a uh, whoops, sorry, for a brushed motor, sorry, these, these drive a brush motor, not a brushless. So there's actually a small computer in here that, that is working out the timing to drive uh, these motors. Because they're sort of like a three-phase motor, and that's why they have three wires. Um, so somewhere between a regular motor and, and a stepper motor, if you will, for you know layman's conversation. But you can replace these and use these to drive that. 
So with this adapter, it's a pretty simple, well, I say simple, uh, it's a pretty straightforward path to converting your SEMA to brushless and doing it for a cheaper price than paying the 100 bucks for this. Now, it would probably cost you for the um, uh, electronic speed controllers and motors probably about 12 bucks per assembly. So you're going to have around 50 to 60 bucks um, in the motors to go uh, to brushless. Because uh, you should be able to get the motors for around eight to nine bucks, and again, I'm talking economy motors and uh, uh, it, um, electronic speed controllers. And then again, desolder these, and again, you can search the internet and use these to feed the uh, uh, electronic speed controllers. And hey, you got a brushless quad for you know roughly about sixty bucks instead of a hundred bucks. So it depends upon what you want to do, but there are definitely options because this is a great platform for modifications and that type of stuff. So. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe button's coming up over there. Please subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments below what you're thinking. And hey, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.